Koji picking up. We're stuck here. Hey, he's the dumb sky's last keeper of weapons. Demonstrate their lack of fear. It was a proven battle tactic. Katathian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? Froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. All right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Walk with me. Come on, Quill. Just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So... The Matriarch asked for us by name? You specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe... They have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Uh, actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers, lovers, sons. This promise will raise the dead. Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the matriarch, the divine vessel. I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him. I intended to kill you. Wow, oh, oh, okay, that... Uh, that is a cool trick. We'll explain how you did it. Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of fate. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sacrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. But now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh, you, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh, control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh... Uh, hold on a sec. You, uh, um, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You have a, uh, you have something on your face. My what? Yeah, it's like this golden, foily thing on your, you know, face. I was disfigured during an explosion. One of the many tragedies for which I blame him. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your... Uh, you were saying something about him? It seems super important. Right, right, uh, your father, uncle, son? My son died of disease. The him I was referring to was someone else. The first divine vessel of this church, before it was even a church. And a 
absurd faith healer. Bathed in golden light and wielding unfathomable power. He saw my loss, our collective loss, knew its cause, but refused to reverse it. Because he, personally, never felt what we feel. That is why I founded this church. To heal. To give hope to those who have lost everything. <clears throat> Wait, there were more of you. The little one is missing. Perhaps he died like your son. What? Oh. Ah. What's wrong with you? Oh, I think. I'm... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm having a heart attack. Why are we not helping him? Cease this at once. Ah. You think you're all very clever. You don't know what you're talking about. You hope to delay me because you're afraid. But there is nothing to fear. Why are you... Get back here where I can see you. Yeah, yeah. It's time to meet the nature. Tell me you have an escape plan. We're gonna summon the Milana. My new buddy will show us the way. You're being very cryptic, Rodent. Yeah, well, I get twitchy when I'm surrounded by giant murder bots. They just want us to meet their new mommy. Speaking of which, who else thinks Will's ex-girlfriend traded in her cop badge for cult robes? Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, you may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting for us to bring them back. All we need is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? 
Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. That's how. I knew you would never leave me. I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Can I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The matriarch will reunite us now and forever. I guess that needs replacing. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures? She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you, but you refused to see reason. Drax, you said that would stay between us. Are you still pushing that Janie thing? She's a lovely girl, Peter, who's turned into an even lovelier young woman. She does sound pretty nice, Peter. Better than all the rest of them, for sure, Quill. 
All the rest of them? Your son is rather promiscuous, Meredith Quill. Dude! Not cool! Sounds like we need to have a serious talk over dinner, Peter. Why do I feel like I'm about to get grounded? Hey, uh, Quill, can you do something about your mutt? He won't stop staring at me. No, he just wants to play. Maybe you should take him outside, let him chase you around. Har har! You're just about as funny as this game is exciting. You know, we could all go see a game next time. It's not the major games, but you might appreciate it more after something I'd like that. It would be an acceptable activity. Yeah, sounds fun, Mrs. Quill. As long as we leave the dog here. I still don't know why the hitter doesn't bring his bat with him around the bases. Or why they don't blow up when they run across them. Like mines, you know? <laughs> you two sound like you need to unwind. Sorry, Mayor. It's kind of hard to turn off. You should take a bath after dinner. It's very relaxing. You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. Let go of me. Stop. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. Peter. <gasps> I don't understand. <gasps> Please. <gasps> This isn't right. Please. Now, Peter, while it's distracted, we can reach Nikki. We need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up! Nikki, what? the hell? This better not be like some weird episode of the Twilight Zone. You guys aren't in there, are you? I don't remember taking this off. We're hanging it up. I haven't seen one of these in years. How do you even get a pirate hat out here? How you holding up? Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. Finally! I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Dad? Uh, no. No, of, of course not. I just don't remember falling asleep. Great. 
So, can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector, and then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Oh, okay. We are still on your mom's ship, right? Of course. You're so weird. Weird doesn't begin to cover it. Dad, the projector? Galaxy's greatest dad. Is that supposed to be me? Obviously. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Did you make it? Oh, no. I ordered it from the bakery planet. Oh, there's a bake? No! I baked it! Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Hmm. Uh, Nick, is it supposed to be fuzzy? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Wow. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Wait, did you make this? Yeah. It's hollow and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful. Just need Mom's present now. I think it's somewhere in my room. Happy birthday, love, Nikki and Peter. Why don't I remember this? Did you find it? Yeah! Okay, put it with the others. Great! The gift. Put it on the table. One birthday present. What did you get her? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to and the painting she really liked? Of Krilar? Oh. Right. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. How does it look? Amazing. Your mom's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Uh, wow. <laughs> Okay, I, uh... Nikki, why is the door locked? It's ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Surprise! Peter? What are you two... No! no! <laughs> Don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Please! Child! Get the matriarch out of here! Now! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! No! Ah! This is wrong! What did you do to us? Mark and mind games! I'm gonna puke! Puke later! Focus on Raker! 
Tracks o'clock! I will enjoy this! Safe energy ain't nothing against good old-fashioned firepower! Lean on them! You can't block everything! We should not be here! Drop this freak and we can go! left to stand on. If things don't improve, we may be forced to give up. Look, I get it. Feels like we've been fighting these crazies forever. But we can't turn around now. This is our life. Because we're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. And if anyone wins today, it's us. So who's with me? Wise words, Peter Quill. Yes! Feel this. Ride another zealot. How are they able to float like that? They are true believers. Put them up, Gamora. Smoke this the rocket. Perhaps we should talk to them. Since when do you 
you talk instead of fighting! Cut to pieces! Whatever they're shooting smells like burnt ozone! I cannot smell anything! You don't stand a chance! Targets down here. How do we get out? Raker's drone gave me a peek at the ship's layout. I'll get us to the comm center, where we can call the Milano to come bail us out of this scuttle flock. Okay, but do you see a way up? I see a way up. How thoughtful. Or, uh, wait! But we gotta get through their D first! Larkin, run Go suckers! Move. Scott, Scott, Scott it! Bad. We need an exit! There ain't one! Drax, hit this part of the wall as hard as you can. Why? Right. Because we're about to die! Right. Mm. I know that sweet smell anyway. Come on! We can escape through that drain! Are you nuts? That's highly toxic warp drive coolant. We can't just jump in there. We need to keep moving. Maybe I wasn't clear. That's a pool of instant death! Whoa! What the? Drax! Drax, man, uh... Everything okay? Yes. Okay, so maybe it ain't warp drive cooling. <laughs> That's tingly. Quill, we need to talk about your kid trying to kill us. Raker did something to her. This is his... Do you think they reach the old mining? No. It says lift your drone into the lower halls. The heretics might have been disintegrated. Scott Halls. Yeah, maybe. But if we are lost, at least they can't find us? We're screwed. We're lost and we're screwed. I just need to get my bearings. I ain't never been on a ship this big. Trust your instincts, little one. Uh, little one? Eh, guess it's better than abomination. <laughs> you are a silly little thing. I swear Raker is gonna answer for all of this. Hey, Quill's kid's the one who zapped us with the crazy ray. Nikki is innocent. He's controlling her. I'm just saying, if somebody's got a doomsday weapon pointed at you, you destroy it. We are not destroying Peter Quill's offspring. So, this is all about bringing back the dead. Half the people I've ever known are dead, and you don't see me trying to burn the world. I would raise planets for a chance to restore my Camaria. You kinda did. No. That was for me. Scott! What are they doing? Blocking our way forward. So many doors! You two know the way out, right? I do now. There's Gubbins! You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. Okay. 
We got this. Hey, look! No time to stand around fighting these goons. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nikki. Thanks, Gunners! You trust that thing? Move, move, move! Clark, get in here! Get back! So, Gunners is gonna need his own space on the Milano. Somebody's gonna have to give up their room.